funding is very, very scarce, you know, and there's a lot of football clubs out there, a lot of youth organisations, and you know, everyone's applying for the same pot of money, and you know, getting funding is just very, very difficult. Give me that three, two, one action. <laughs> When I started off with a football club, it was simply, you know, I wanted to make a change. There's so many different issues that are being faced by young people. Um, you know, boys, you know, there might be more, you know, crime issues or, you know, drug-related issues. They're trying to help me get into professional clubs. We train quite a lot and it's intense. They have high ambitions for us, they really want us to make it. Whereas the girls, it's more cultural barriers as well, you know. Some of these girls, they actually they aspire to become footballers, but there's a cultural barrier um, and the lack of opportunities that, you know, they can't actually chase their dreams. Well, us at Grassroots Football Club, we need to come out there, expose us as much as we can and, you know, get these girls involved. I think it's kind of like a statement out there as so, that like, just having a girl team is our voice heard. <laughs> As a club, for us, you know, fundraising is a big thing. It's like a six to ten page document you've got to fill out, ask questions about why you are applying for funding, what you're applying for, you know, they maybe get a session application, they might come and pay you a visit. And by the time you get the money, it could be easily a year. So again, there's no certainty that, you know, next year we'll be running. You know, Kids Bazaar is just another way of, you know, reaching out to the community. It takes away the headache of paperwork, and we as a club can focus on the footballing side of things and just, you know, rely on the funding to come through. I've liked football my whole life, but if Wokken didn't exist, I don't think I'd carry it on.